It's Meg from Megan AJ. Hey, it's AJ from Megan AJ, and today me and Meg are both going to be doing sh decorating shoes. She's going to be using paint, but I'm going to be using these markers. I got like 32 different colors, and they're like bright colors. But so this is going to be my shoe. I took off the laces because I'm tie dyeing them right now, but I have to let them sit. And then this is Meg's shoe, so I'm doing one of hers, and she's doing one of mine, and then like the opposite way too. But today, I'm going to start with mine, so that way if I mess up, I don't mess up on hers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and I'm not on mine. I'm not doing really a pattern. I'm just going to do a bunch of different, like, little designs. And then on one side, I'll probably do a bunch of flowers. But it'll kind of be a bunch of everything. Okay, so let's get started with mine. Okay, so since this kind of, like, goes in when I'm trying to touch my markers, I'm going to stuff mine with tissue paper. So then it kind of stays in place, so... Okay, so now it's like easier to, it'll be easier to draw on it and stuff that I stuffed it. So, but um, I might have to go back and put more in here when I get to the top. But I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trace my designs out in pencil, just like on here. So then when I go back, I'm not like, adding it where I'm doing it and when I'm doing it, so it's easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few simple designs on here, then I'll come back to show you what I did before I go over them with marker. Okay, so I went ahead and put the laces on to hold it in place, and they're kind of like sky blue, which I think is cool, because I tied at them, and it originally had white like Meg's shoelace. Okay, but now I traced out some designs, so I'm going to be doing triangles, like different colors, like these four, like these four colors, like on triangles all around the tire shoe. Then I did like a dog paw print, and then a flower, and more triangles, and then right there I did a compass, a heart, and a for my name um but i'm gonna go ahead and color those in and then once i do those i'm gonna go back and add some more designs that i came up with i just wanted to see how coloring it worked before i did too many designs and so i'll start coloring them with the colors on the triangles then i'll go back off camera and finish then after that i'll come back and show you what i did okay so yeah Okay, let me go back and shake this up to see if that makes a difference. Okay. Now I'll go to, actually I'm going to go to this, like, neon orange. Like on camera they look a lot duller but they're actually a lot brighter but okay. So see how I just started going around in those triangles? And then here it will be different because it'll go all the way out to here kind of where the shoelace stops, but I'm gonna like go all the way around and do them all the way here and then they go all the way around to the other side. So I'll go ahead and go finish that. Then I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I finished with the triangles and I did it all the way around like this in the pattern and I think it looks really good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the edge yet. So I practiced drawing it out on a piece of fabric and it looks like this. So I'm gonna do that pretty much well, like try to recreate as much as possible. Except I'm gonna be using difficult because the blue didn't really show up on the shoes and or the color I used before looks like that, which looks a lot different than the color on the market cap. So I'm gonna be using these three colors to use it. The pink and purple probably go to the same place and then the orange to go where the blue did. So, or if, you know what, maybe not. Maybe I'll do a difficult, wait, let me think. 
Yeah, instead of using orange, I'm going to use this color and try to do it the same as before because I feel like the orange would look kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pink. Okay, let me shake it up. Okay, so I'm going to just trace it kind of like I did before with the triangle. Okay, and let me get the J. Oh wait, I just want to use the pink button. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and chase the, yeah, I'm going to chase it with the blue. I think I'm doing the best what I did the first time, but it's fine. Yeah, it's reverse than what I did on the example piece, but... Okay, so this is the final result of mine. And so now that I'm done with mine, I'm going to go ahead and do Meg's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put tissue paper on hers. Then I'm going to go outline it like the same thing I did on mine, and then I'll be back. So on Meg's shoe, this is the final product. So I just went ahead and did everything because like all this I already did on my shoe. So I just did the same triangles like all around. And then on the rims like that, I just did like the same colors. And then up front, I just did three flowers. So that's it. And then here was mine. See, they're kind of similar. And that's it for my part of the video. Thank you for watching. Hey, so... Just like AJ said, we're going to be painting shoes. Yeah. So, I'm going to start off with my shoe. Let's put the other shoe aside. That one. Are you in AJ? And AJ, you did an amazing job on both shoes. They look great. So, I guess this is my turn. So, what I'm going to do. So, how do I explain this? I wanted one of my shoes. I wanted, I wanted the, hold on. I wanted the shoe that I made to have, like, something my life i guess i'm not sure how to explain it but i wanted i mean put it frank i wanted to have a cat on my shoe and i didn't just want to have a random cat because what so i chose my cat um this is ferris this is one of my two cats this is when he was really little this is in like 2017 <laughs> so i guess i'm just gonna start what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a blended rainbow on the back of the shoe and then my cat in the front and then a rainbow kind of rainbow design behind the cat and then i'm white laces they started off white and for aj shoe i did dye them kind of mm. we'll get into that later anyway so i'm just gonna paint the rainbow you know i started off with red you can start off with whatever color if you want to do green or blue and go for it or yellow i don't know and this is I don't know. <laughs> so this is actually this was actually a lot of fun. I have I I I have painted other sh shoes before, but I'm not gonna put these on camera because they looked horrible. Well, I may put them on camera. I don't know. We'll see. If it's on camera, then it's on camera. Um, I guess if it's gonna be on camera, then let's put it on camera right now. I don't know if that was on camera or not. I'm gonna have to go back and edit it. But whatever. <laughs> not the point. Anyway, I have painted shoes before, and those were really fun. But that's when I just started painting. Uh, so they looked horrible. Anyway, this these turned out a lot better. So I guess let's get started with the cat. In a few seconds, there will be a picture of my cat in the top right corner. Uh, just because the cat that the picture in the actual video is black and white. And I thought it'd be easier for you guys. I thought it. I thought it'd make more sense if I, because sh I know what my cat looks like, but you guys don't know anything about my cat, of course not. Because anyway, so I'm just gonna put a cat, my cat, in the top right corner, right about oh now. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that's my cat. Uh, his name is Ferris. He's a 
cat. So yeah, let's listen to music. correct paintbrush out of all that time i don't know if i sped it up or not i don't think i did i might have i don't know but i spent a long time picking a paintbrush a pretty normal pretty basic paintbrush i could have saved time just choosing a random one no i couldn't have okay Paintbrushes are important. You have to find the right type of paintbrush for what you're doing. Like for this, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to paint the... I'm choosing a color randomly. I'm going to be painting the background of the cat. <laughs> yeah. I know that the cat is in the picture uh, tan, but I struggled just to make brown. So, you know, I'm not lightening the color because I make, make a mistake. Then I'm going to be spending sorry, spending another hour or so just figuring out how to make brown. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a darker cat. And you know what? That's fine. Because this was in 2017. 2021, he looks different. Okay? He's more brown. He's not tan. So, you know what? I'm going to keep it brown. Present time mixed with when he was not even one whatever okay anyway is it fun watching me struggle with tape because i mean not really so what i'm doing is like how do i explain this it's like polka dots just all just instead of having dots it's blobby so, poke blobs. That's what I'm doing. I'm making poke blobs with the rainbow all over the front of the shoe as the background of the cat. Yep. I guess it's, you guys can watch me paint poke blobs. Sure, let's speed it up. So, um, yeah, this is <laughs> this is just what I'm doing. So. If you're wondering, 
about like that fabric strip between the rainbow and the Pokeblob cat thing mixture? I don't even know what to call it. Pokeblob cat? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to leave that white because if I painted that, I would have to decide, okay, do I want to have it a Pokeblob or do I want to have it the rainbow? Ooh, that was a good transition. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. That was a good transition. I would have to decide if uh, yeah, I already said this. I would have to decide if I wanted to do the bubble up or the rainbow. And if I wanted, I, then I would have to figure out a way to blend each. And that would just take more time. Here's this part. <laughs> Wait one minute. So. Anyway. Here's the part where I realize that I have to paint the ears of the cat. Fun fact ears aren't actually red well i mean they're kind of red they're the color of their skin but you can't really see the, their that because their ears are covered in the hair which makes sense right i mean not all cats uh what is it bald cats i think don't uh what is it called like i don't want not bald cats i don't even know what it's called it's like What's it called? Like no, no fur cat. Come down below if you know what it's like. They, if you look into a cat's ears, it seems kind of red, but it's not. It's just the light reflecting off of the color of their skin that makes it kind of red, but also doesn't. So I could have just. I'm really close to the microphone. I, <laughs> I could have just um, painted brown, but then you wouldn't be able to see the ears, and the bad part about this is that the color that I chose for the red ears also pretty much is the same color as the red in the rainbow so <laughs> yay i didn't actually end up using puffy paint puffy paint would have taken more time i would have to do more coats and also it would be pu you know, puffy so i went with matte because matte is easy to apply and it only took one coat and this is the last thing i have to do so i'm just you know just first going over the spots that I missed that I got paint on but then off camera I think I went back with an actual paintbrush and painted the whole thing white because it was way too messy to do with like that what is it called like a I don't even know what it's called anyway there it is so yeah but we're not done yet no 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 oh kind of oh yeah <laughs> oh my goodness Okay, so the cat, the way I drew the cat, it looks like he's driving something, like he's driving a car. And since he's on the front of his shoe, he, he looks like he's driving the shoe. He's driving this red blob dot rainbow shoe. Oh, no. So, close up. Yeah, this is my shoe. pretty colorful i think i went a little overboard i should have just painted the background of the cat like one solid color maybe like a light blue maybe i mean it's kind of late now it would take too much effort and too many too much paint to go over it now and also you know this is the final shot so i put the laces on but the laces i didn't actually get a picture with it of the laces so there's the laces. Okay. Moving on to AJ's shoe. Um, yeah. So, I'm... <laughs> I gotta stop saying, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm just taking the laces out. I actually did tie-dye these laces. It didn't work too well. AJ, can you please tell me how you tie-dyed the laces? Because these tie-dye would not stay. I left it in for so long and i did so many coats but every single time i went to wash it off it just it would turn back to white anyway putting my gloves on wiping off the trash a piece of paper who knows okay so let's get to painting so what am i hold on what i am going to do i actually changed design from this because it was going to be all solid colors. 
and no. So you see that color that I picked up right now? I thought that was a purple. It looks like a purple, kind of. Well, it looked like a purple then. I see it now. It looks like a blue, but it's like a gel. It's like kind of like it looks like gel, and so that's why I thought it was purple because it looked like purple, and it was too dark, so I lightened up the color. And I was gonna paint that on the like I don't know what it's called tongue of the shoe. Yeah. It's blue. How is it blue? It's, you know what, just now. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to painting. So, I'm going to start. Is that paintbrush. That paintbrush is in an upcoming video. Well, that paintbrush is actually from a box that I review in an upcoming video. So, the paintbrush did, does, did, is starting to fall apart. But that's because I left it in the water for too long. Anyways, I'm just going to start painting. I'm going to do blue on the... So you can't actually see it from the video, but like in real time, there is like these... I'm going to stop turning the light too. There is... I don't know what it's called, but... What's it called? Like... Like, it's like what they use for sewing. Like, not string. Thread. Yeah. I think it's thread. I don't know what it's called. Who knows? You guys probably know. Anyways, I'm going to do that. Speed it up. Yeah, it's just like you know, if you're going to do this. Um, It's fun. It's truly fun. And it's, like, it's awesome. Painting shoes is awesome. Definitely recommend doing it. It's I had to I ended up using a lot of paint just because big shoes, but they're not big shoes, like tall shoes. Yeah. I definitely recommend getting these because it has more what's it called? Like drawing space. So you can do like bigger designs. Maybe even like landscapes. But make sure you don't you that you use uh what's it called fabric. So I did actually end up changing this. Um, I was gonna do like a green on the top, but <laughs> no, I did Bing, and I think it looks a lot better. And I was just obsessed with making sure oh, <laughs> I'm making sure that the colors were blended where the blue meant per pink. So I ended up turning purple. It'd be really bad if this microphone wasn't actually picking up my voice. Because I've been recording for 10 minutes. <laughs> That'd be really bad. Anyway. The paint is still wet. But I don't care. The other shoe took like two days. I did the back. The rainbow. In one day. And then started on the cat on the next. And I did the cat on the next. I did, I did the rainbow and the cat on the same day. And then the back end of the cat on the next day. So, you know. I didn't really mind that the paint was still wet. Anyway, I did lighten the color a little bit. But that's because I ran out of paint and the color was different. So, that's what that's about. Probably you can couldn't tell. Anyway, I'm just going to mix up all my colors again. Oh. Why is it pixelated? I don't know if it's just like me, but it looks pixelated. Huh. Strange. Anyway, I'm doing some testing. Uh, I was gonna do and well, did I did do polka dots? Ooh, big reveal. Ha! Ah, no, it's not. No. Anyway, I'm gonna do polka dots. But first, I have, that was my fan. I have, you probably can, if you heard that, that was my fan. I'm going to paint the A and J black because, you know, I'm not going to paint it white. That'd be not smart. I'll wave my brush at you guys. Wave my blue, no black brush at you guys, and I painted J. But then you guys have to watch me paint A. Okay, 
I'm going to do A, and then I'm going to start doing polka dots, and I'm just going to play music over the whole thing. Okay, talk to you guys later. said that the polka dots are done and now i'm trying to do a transition and yeah, that was kind of good i painted the back strip of fabric green because i still had a lot of green left and i thought it would look cool that's why i did that I'm turning on the white to get a little bit white and this is the final shoe but it's not. I still have to add the laces. I had to dye the laces, which I didn't do on camera because it took a lot of time. And I did actually film some on camera, but I didn't want to put that in the um, the video because it was too sad. <laughs> so after many struggles, here is the final product. Uh, the laces are still white, but some of it is pink. Yeah. The door is open, so there is natural light, which gives it a little bit more better. And here's the final product. I think it looks cool. I think it looks great. So those were the shoes. I'm going to put the shoes together on camera in a second. As like a pair on camera. One minute. These are the shoes. I'm just getting close up. I think they look great okay so here are the shoes again this is aj's shoes together and these are my shoes together okay cool uh that's gonna be all I don't know who's going to be posting a video next week. 
next weekend. Okay, anyway, bye.